Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. We have one birthday today, and that is Zia from Miss Alcazar's class, so happy birthday to you. Now, for lunch today, we have another special meal, and you might have noticed this week we've had a lot of special meals because it's actually National School Lunch Week. Um, so that's why you've gotten to try some new things, like we had the banh mi sandwich, we've had Jamaican jerk bison tacos, we got to have some plantains, and we had some sorbet, um, and some Cajun chicken penne, and today we're gonna try something else new, which is, um, pancake, banana pancake squares, along with roasted sweet potatoes and barbecue glazed smokies, maybe even a smoothie bowl, a strawberry banana smoothie bowl, leafy greens, cucumbers, baby carrots, jicama, apples, and oranges. So we are really lucky that we get to be creative and get to try some of the new foods that our cafeteria work workers are making for us. So we should show them our appreciation um, and say thank you to them for giving us new foods to try. It helps us be good risk takers, helps us be open-minded to try new things, and helps us be a good international baccalaureate school where we recognize foods from all different types of cultures and get the chance to experience them. So make sure you say thank you to Chad and all the other cafeteria workers today. All right, on to Future Friday. Okay, everyone, it's time for another Future Friday where we look into your future to see what kind of careers and colleges are available to you. It's important to know what options you have because knowledge is power, and we want you to know all of the options, including college, trade school, military, employment, technical college. There's so many paths you can take. Future Boss Ladies of America. Today we are interviewing Amanda Reynolds Cooper. She is, she is a library director of Lane Memorial Library in Hampton, New Hampshire. What is your favorite book? Oh, <laughs> that's a very hard question, Esperanza. Um, there are so many books that I love that it's hard to pick just one. Um, I really like a book series called His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. It has um, Golden Compass, Amber Spyglass, oh, and I can't remember what the third book is called, but it's a great <laughs> series. I highly recommend it. Do you ever work with kids? Yes. Oh, I'm very happy about that. I get to work with all ages, but just in the last year, I have started offering a story time for kiddos from really little up to about five years old, and we read our books in English, but then we put in some Spanish vocabulary. Why did you choose to be a librarian and where did you get your education from? Mm. So I was studying biology, but the whole time I was studying biology, I was working in the library. And so when I graduated from college, I had a lot of library experience and it took me a few years to figure it out, but I could become a librarian and I liked it and I knew how to do it. So um, I went to Syracuse University in New York and I got my master's in library science and that's when my career started. What are the hard parts and fun parts about working with kids? Mm. The hard parts about working with kids, <sighs> my experience is excitement turns into volume and they're just incredibly loud and it's not a bad thing and it's not as if they're not helping or learning it's just that it's a lot there's a lot of noise and a lot of movement so that's probably the worst thing about working with kids everything else about working with kids is great um the best thing you know getting to meet people who have bright ideas and say hey i'd like to interview you or i met kiddos this afternoon who want to host a costume contest so it's very fun to watch kids get to use their imagination and develop things at the library. What are some of your traits that make you a good librarian? 
I think that I am very patient and very open. So there's never a no on my lips. It's always like, okay, let's talk about it. Let me listen. Let me figure out if we can do that thing. I think that makes me really good at my job. Um, it, I think that I'm very friendly. I want people to be here. So I'm always smiling and walking people into the building, making sure that they feel like this is a, a spot that's they're welcome in. You're welcome.